Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. It's now certain and crystal clear. Raila and the Azimio team are heading to the Supreme Court of Kenya. And the question a majority of Kenyans are asking, can the Supreme Court order for an audit and then declare Raila Odinga the winner of the presidential election upon finding out that Raila indeed won the election? That's the question a majority of Kenyans are asking. And the lawyers are not doing Kenyans any justice because they are interpreting the law according to their political whims and the political sides they subscribe to. So in this video, I want us to have a look at what the law says and why I still maintain that the Supreme Court is the best route forward, the best option. Before we do that, in case you are watching us for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. Yes. Earlier today, Senior Counsel of Menasir Abdullahi, a very close William Ruto ally, taking his Twitter handle, had this to say. A Menasir Abdullahi, Senior Counsel. Outgoing President Uhuru and Honorable Raila don't want the Supreme Court to nullify the presidential election of 9-8-2022. They don't want a rerun. They want the Supreme Court to declare that Honorable Raila won the 9-8-2022 elections using fuzzy marks. Improbable. No. Impossible. No. That senior counsel earlier in the day and that tweet just exposed the panic, the confusion in William Ruto's team over Raila's move to the Supreme Court of Kenya. And even before we have a look at what the law says, let's have a look at what lawyer Donald B. Kip Corrib is also saying about this whole issue of Raila being declared the president by the Supreme Court of Kenya. Lawyer Donald B. Kip Corrib, our Supreme Court has inherent jurisdiction to correct arithmetic errors without substantive hearing. If Azimio seeks the prayer of correction of arithmetic errors and demonstrate beyond per adventure that Baba won, then Baba can be declared president without fresh elections. So you can see, ladies and gentlemen, that lawyers have valid opinions on this topic. So let's have a look at what the law says about the Supreme Court declaring Raila Molo Odinga the winner of these presidential elections. Yes. What does the law say? If you look at Elections Act number 24 of 2011, Revised Edition 2016-2012, Section 80. This is what the law says. Powers of Election Court. Let's jump to Section 4. An election court may by order direct the commission to issue a certificate of election to a president, a member of parliament, or a member of a county assembly if A, upon recount of the ballots cast. Let's just leave it there, ladies and gentlemen. It's very clear that the Supreme Court can order a recount or even do an audit and onto the presidential ballots and declare Raila Odinga the winner upon establishing that Raila indeed won the election. So the confusion by these lawyers should not bother any Kenyan. The Supreme Court 
can declare Raila Odinga the winner of the presidential elections. Let's dig deep, ladies and gentlemen. Just as I've been saying, the Supreme Court is the best option. And I believe it's the best option because there are serious anomalies with the presidential tallies. From the information we have, and even we are gathering, on the mountain, votes were seriously inflated. Turnout was below 50%. It was inflated to about 70%. And in some constituencies, it's clear William Ruto's votes were actually inflated <laughs> with over 10,000 votes. And if you compare that to Raila Strongholds, you find out that in Raila Strongholds, his votes are being suppressed. In fact, in Raila Strongholds, some governors are even garnering more votes than Raila himself, while in on the mountain and in William Ruto's College in Rift Valley, he's garnering way much ahead of all these other <coughs> elected leaders. An indication that indeed votes were inflated in favor of William Samoy Ruto. That's something that if the court can do an audit, can just unravel that kind of a serious anomaly that happened at, at, at IEBC. That's one ground, ladies and gentlemen. And also if you look at the four commissioners who rejected Chebukati's results, in my honest opinion, that can also warrant a nullification of the election or an audit of the presidential ballots, the ballots, the, the ballots that were cast. Because it's clear that the commission is not all about Wafula Chibukati. The work of the commission, and in this case the commissioners, are to tally and verify the results before Chebukati makes the announcement. From what the commissioners are saying, Chebukati locked them out. Chebukati only invited them the last minute, told them that these are the results I want to announce. Chebukati never involved the commissioners in verifying and telling all the results. And if you look at the Court of Appeal ruling in 2017, the minor Kiai versus IBC, the court made it very clear that the commission is not all about the chairman, the chair. The commission is also composed of the commissioners. And in a situation where they can't have a uni unanimous decision, or rather an agreement, then they have to make a decision through voting. And in this case, it's almost obvious and clear that a good majority of the commissioners are in disagreement with the declaration by Wafula Chibukati. Those are just but a few of the reasons why I believe the Supreme Court is the best option. Kenyans want to know who won this election because from what we are seeing, it's clear Chebukati and William Ruto are reading from the same page. It's clear Chebukati was compromised. The result Chebukati announced is coming out clearly that those are rigged results. And that's why I, st I still maintain that Kenyans want justice. Let justice be done. Mm. And when I talk about justice, it also beats logic that your opponent can beat you in all regions and then you only beat your opponent in two regions and then you claim you are the winner of a presidential election. That's something that, <laughs> from where I see it, is technically not possible. So the Supreme Court must give Kenyans justice. The su Supreme Court must do an audit to establish exactly who won this election and should they find Jebukati to have messed up to have overturned the will of the people Jebukati a stern action should be taken against Wafula Jebukati 
because also in 2017, the Supreme Court ordered for the opening of the servers. Chebukati and his team refused. This time around, stern action should be taken against Wafula Chebukati. Let me leave it there, ladies and gentlemen. Just as I did indicate when we were starting, in case you are watching us for the very first time, but so far you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. And to our fans and subscribers here, I'm very much humbled, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here. Any other person watching us outside Kenya, drop a comment. Let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. God bless you. God bless Kenya.